Hello and welcome to another Bybit tutorial. Today we talk about how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies on Bybit in the uh, spot market. So this is the main dashboard when you log in and the way to do this when you want to actually trade, you go to trade and today we talk about spot trading. We can cover margin trading and the other options in other videos, but today is all about buying and selling on the spot. What does it mean on the spot? Spot means that you're actually buying the asset itself. So for example, if you want to buy Bitcoin um, spot, then you actually buy it and it goes into your wallet on the exchange and you can actually move it. For example, if you want to, to another exchange, you can move it onto another wallet, you can move it onto your hardware wallet or whatever. Yeah, um, it, it belongs to you. Um, always be careful when you keep too many of your cryptocurrencies on an exchange because you never know what happens with the exchange, you know, and or you could lose your access or whatever. So it really only belongs to you as soon as you have it on your hardware wallet or your own software wallet. However, um, if you want to do that and move them around your coins or tokens, then you need to buy on the spot. This is completely in contrast to margin trading. If you do margin trading, then you do not buy the underlying asset. You basically just have some kind of a contract with the exchange. But today we talk about non-leveraged spot trading. So let's go and talk about that because that is probably suitable for most people, especially beginners, and also for people who want to buy into cryptocurrency long term. So this is the main dashboard on Bybit. Um, if you figured out how to how to read it, it's pretty straightforward. But when you're a beginner and when you use such an exchange for the first time, you will most likely get very confused. In the end, it doesn't really matter which exchange you use in terms of, you know, understanding how it works because they all move or they all work in very similar ways. I think um, Bybit is quite simple to use in contrast to many other exchanges um, for various reasons that we're going to talk about in further tutorials. But the main dashboard here shows you a few things. So first of all, you can see the pair that you're actually trading. You can obviously change that, but this is at the moment uh, set on Bitcoin USDT. You can easily change that to another asset if you want to trade ETH or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so for example, down here we can we can change it. We can to go to um, ETH USDT, or you can select Chili's and you know wh whatever cryptocurrency you like. You can also search for specific cryptocurrencies. For example, see if they have VeChain or they don't have VeChain. Link, there you go. Link USDT. Okay, let's just keep it with uh, keep it simple. Let's go with Bitcoin. Um, then you can also select the pair that you want to trade it against. Uh, for example, USDC, DAI, Euros. So that's all up to you. You can select that. I just normally keep uh, USDT or USDC. Then here in the middle, that's obviously your sort of chart that you get a bit of information about the chart. Um, I normally just for that use, if, if I really want to do um, technical analysis, I normally just use a separate window, a second screen and have all my, my, um, my charts on there on trading view. Here you can also select trading view. You can do some kind of basis analysis here. If you want to do that, you have certain indicators here that you can use. You can change to bar chart. You can change to high Ashi if you use that. But if you do that kind of stuff, you most likely will use your own, um, your own software for that. Um, but that's just sort of here what you can see. You can see the buy price, the sell price, market prices, the current prices. Um, up there you can see the current price as well. Bitcoin, the 24 hour change, the 24 hour high, low 24 hour turnover in USDT and the volume in BTC. So this is basically what you will find on many other exchanges. And on the right hand side, you typically, as on other exchanges as well, you find the order book. So you can see what people are um, what people want to sell BTC for, what people want to buy BTC for, and that's how it normally works. And by definition, the lower price here in green is always lower than the, the higher one because if they match the actual order triggers. And then you can select here the recent trades as well. These are actually the orders that got filled. And when you enter an order, it will also appear here in the order book, especially if it's a limit order, um, it will stay on here until it's filled. Okay, so what else? Um, down here, when you enter an order, you will find it down here. There are limit and market orders, conditional orders as well. We talk about that in more advanced tutorials because they can be very, very useful. And well, other than that, uh, here on the right hand side, you can actually buy um, or sell. So we are now on spot. You can also select margin, but this is maybe something for another tutorial. Here we talk about spot 
and let's say we enter a market order in the most simple way. I select buy. Yeah, I want to buy BTC now with my USDT and the order value, let's say I've got 719 USDT on the exchange at the moment. So let's say I just select 50. Yeah, I can also um, select here the percentage if I want to, which is quite good, which is quite nice. And in my opinion, an advantage of a KuCoin where you only can select 25, 50, 75 and 100 here, you can actually select what you want. If I want to buy uh, with 10% of my USDT, then I do that. Okay. And that's it. You know, and then I click buy BTC and then I won't do it now because I don't want to buy BTC now, but you just buy BTC, click it. And if you selected market order, the market order triggers at the best price. So if you do it now, it will trigger within a few seconds, most likely. That might not be the case when you have lower volume tokens or coins where there is less volume going on. Uh, it might not trigger that fast, but with Bitcoin, it will trigger quite quickly. And that is how you buy. And if I, um, if I owned any BTC here already on the exchange, then I just click on sell and I would see my available balance here. I would select again the quantity that I have. So I could just select 100%, but it won't show anything because I don't own any BTC on Bybit at the moment. And then I just click sell. And if I select the market order, there is the most straightforward order to use, suitable for most people who just want to buy or sell. Um, but if you are a little bit more advanced and you actually want to trade and you have done your technical analysis, let's say you identified a significant low here, a support level, and you say, okay, when the price comes down very close to that low here at 16,336, then I want to actually get a limit order triggered. I want to, I want to buy Bitcoin when it comes down to that level, but you know, I need to go to bed, whatever, what happens if it just goes down there and goes up straight away, I will most likely miss it. That is when you use a limit order because you can actually set a limit price. You can select when the price will actually trigger and your buy order will trigger. So that's one way to do it with a buy limit order. You can, um, let's say I've got your buy spot limit order, order price. I can select here the price I want. And let's say when it comes down to 16,350, then I want to buy BTC, you can again select here the quantity, you can see down here, which is nice, the actual order value. So let's say I can also type it in. Let's say I want to spend 100 um, USDT at that price gives me that quantity of BTC. Or if I want to spend 200 USDT at that price, I can see how many BTC I get then. Or I just spend all of my USDT. Okay. So this will be quite safe. I can actually trigger that because I don't, uh, it will not trigger straight away. Just gonna double check it. I'm spending um, whatever. I just selected 13% of my USDT and then I will click buy. It will not trigger straight away because I clicked the limit order. I selected the limit order and I click buy BTC. And then, yep, yeah, let's trigger zero fees at the moment. So there you go. And this shows now under limit and market orders. And you can see that it is not filled. Yeah, it is a limit order, buy order, order value, the order price, order quantity, filled is nothing, unfilled, and I can qu quickly cancel it again. Uh, that's how it works with a limit order, quite straightforward. And a sell limit order works in a very similar way. Again, I have to assume I now own BTC so let's say I want to sell and take profits when it goes higher. Let's say I, I can, um, let's say I have BTC on the exchange. I want to, um, I want to sell when it gets to the most recent significant swing highs. So let's just, let's just select this one up here, which is at around 16,650. So just below that I want to sell. So what do I type in? I select here 16,640. That is when I want to sell again, depending on how many BTC I have, which I don't have any at the moment on this exchange, can select here how many BTC or what fraction of a BTC I want to sell. And then you will see here your value and you click sell BTC and it will show here under limit orders as a sell order, probably unfilled until we reach that level. And then it will trigger. And that is how you can take profit with a sell limit order. That is one way of doing it. We're going to explore further um, further order types in further tutorials, but it is the most simple way of how you can use a market and a, uh, a limit order on Bybit. 
Okay, so I hope you liked the tutorial. If you like to support the channel and if you want to register with Bybit, you can use the affiliate link that you can find in the video description. Sometimes they do offer a bonus when people sign up. Um, I can't commit to anything here at the moment because those campaigns change from time to time and I didn't want to put anything into this video. So best to check when you click on the link. And if you want to register, uh, you will support the channel as well and can then engage in buying and selling on Bybit. So hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.